What's more hypocritical than Fox friends accusing Hillary Clinton of hypocrisy over Harvey Weinstein and Donald Trump calling on a guy like Corey Lewandowski to help them do it? Previously in the segment, the Dear Leader Cheering Squad aka Fox Friends had consulted the completely unqualified Lewandowski to promote Donald Trump's dangerous decertification of the Iran nuclear deal. Lewandowski disingenuously sold it as an anti-Obama plan. Not one of the three co-hosts corrected his distortions about Iran's compliance. But, having suggested that we should all admire Trump's latest move and the heck with our health and safety the Trump friends busied themselves with bashing Clinton. Co-host David Webb's question all but asked Lewandowski to attack her. Webb Hillary Clinton, who didnt get to be president, is on a book tour that never ends it seems. And she now calls Trump an assaulter, a sexual assaulter quarry, I mean, is that out of bounds Webb's voice rose with incredulity, as though he couldn't imagine why anyone might call Trump a sexual assaulter. In sync with the message, the lower third read, HRC states false claims on Trump. Nobody revealed what falsehood she supposedly made. But who better to respond just the way three Trump stooges would like than a Trump loyalist with his own record of assaulting and mistreating women not that anyone mentioned Lewandowski's own disreputable history. Sure enough, Lewandowski took the bait Lewandowski Hillary's a very angry person, obviously. I mean, she ran the worst campaign in the history of presidential campaigns. She couldn't connect with females, she couldn't connect with African Americans, she couldn't connect with Hispanics. She forgot where the state of Wisconsin was. Supposedly objective reporter Todd Pirro, guest co-hosting, chuckled. Lewandowski continued, she lost every battleground state in the country and now she blames everybody else for her loss. Fact check Clinton has said she blames herself for her loss. Also, she won the popular vote by almost 3 million more Americans voted for Hillary Clinton than any other losing presidential candidate in U.S. history. Trump lost the popular vote by the largest margin than any other presidential victor in history. Trump had one of the narrowest wins in the Electoral College, too. Yet not one of the three hosts corrected the false picture of Clinton. They even allowed Lewandowski to get on his high horse about Harvey Weinstein. Where is she on the whole Weinstein thing? Lewandowski asked accusingly. But co-host Abby Huntsman wanted Lewandowski to specifically hit Clinton for fingering dear leader and grab him by the P.Y. Trump as a sexual assaulter. She played a clip of Clinton condemning Weinstein and Trump. This kind of behavior cannot be tolerated anywhere we saw Clinton saying, then noting, we have someone admitting to being a sexual assaulter in the Oval Office. I want to get your thoughts, Huntsman said, hinting she wanted Lewandowski to attack Hillary Clinton over it because of Bill Clinton. In case Lewandowski didnt get the hint, Webb chimed in, is this a 90s flashback before Lewandowski could respond? Lewandowski well, sure, there was a sexual assaulter in the White House and who was called Bill Clinton, that's the sexual assaulter she should be talking about in the White House. Notice how Fox News showcased that remark in its tweet below about this disgusting discussion. It concluded, thusly Lewandowski it's amazing the hypocrisy of Hollywood and the liberal elites who, they don't want to talk about Harvey Weinstein anymore cause he's one of their own. It's amazing how the liberal left has their own agenda and they refuse to acknowledge that, they have been part of the problem in Hollywood for the last 30 years, this is what hypocrisy is all about. Huntsman yeah, three women now accusing Weinstein of rape. It's so important to point out the hypocrisy. It's a dangerous place to be. That's why we have you on, Corey, good to see you. Hypocrisy hating Huntsman never acknowledged that a Clinton was correct about Trump having boasted about committing sexual assault and B. Huntsman was sitting right there in sexual harassment central where I don't recall her ever making a peep about what was going on right under her nose. A former Fox host has said, we all knew. Since Huntsman thinks it's so important to call out hypocrisy, I eagerly await her calling out the hypocrisy of colleagues Tucker Carlson and Sean Hannity for fondly reminiscing about Roger Ailes yet condemning people who associated with Weinstein. I'm not holding my breath. Watch the These Pots Calling the Kettle Black below, from the October 14, 2017 Fox Friends. HT News Hound Richard